Germany, 35 cents. Holland, 40 cents. India, 28 cents. What are you doing? Uh, phone charges. No, per minute. Why? What is that? Making some extra bread around here, you know? International phone rates. We're going to start charging when people use our phones. Which people? What do you think? Fair rates, right? What people? Yeah, for people that use the phones. Who's gonna... going to be using the phones? Well, Ice Monkey's a little concerned about the cash flow problem, so we're just generating some more revenue streams. With cheap international phone calls? Exactly. Right. I mean, how will people even know we offer this service? It's not as if we've got backpackers welcome on our front door. Yeah, it's funny you say that because we're going to make it into a hostel. A hostel? You know, yeah, like, you know, at night we leave, we leave before midnight and we don't get in until 8, so we just figure we'll let people sleep on the floors. And you know, they're heated, the floors. And then when we come in in the morning, we'll just wake them up and kick them out. So it'll be cool. What's a country that starts with a K? Kathmandu. It's a city. Yeah, whatever. 25 cents is fair, right? Yeah. Hey, welcome to G Living Live. I'm Sarah. And I'm Boise, what's up? And we are joined by Andrew Heilprin, Blue White Sun. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Where'd that name come from? Well, the name came from the Dylan song, A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall. And uh, I actually remember the day that I thought of it was September 11th, 2001. I was coming back from a surf trip um, after the attack. We were listening to the Dylan song and I'm like, oh my God, this is a great name for a band. Are you coming back? Are you gonna rack and stack those lines? A corduroy. Habits when you die. Are you gonna fly so high? You don't remember me. The I'm my mom's blue eyed son. <laughs> <laughs> you are now everyone's blue eyed son. So you, um, you play the guitar. Yes. And uh, write songs. And you surf as well, that's another big passion of yours? Yeah, oh uh, well, for 25 years now. I got addicted, you know. I grew up in Santa Barbara, and uh, once I started surfing, that was it. How's it gonna be? Are you gonna hold my hand while we are entering? What happens to me now? Will I know somehow to cloud my end? Here we are talking about this West of Lincoln thing. You named your album that. What was yeah. the inspiration for that? I mean, it was just from friends, from living down here for so many years, friends who wouldn't travel east of Lincoln. They just refused. They're like, they would fight and struggle to get jobs that were west of Lincoln. <laughs> they wanted to have a life by the ocean. They liked incorporating everything over here. I've been playing music since the fifth grade. I started playing trumpet in the fifth grade and then graduated to the guitar, I think, in high school. After I graduated, uh, I, I went to Australia and I busked in the streets wow. for money. Um, were the Australians generous? The Australians were generous and I often spent all my money on beer. I mean, most of the time I'd get like one of my friends from the hostel or someone to play with me and we'd end up offending most of the people around us. Oh, really? Why is that? Uh, because we would spend our profits on beer. Oh, right. And then okay. go, <laughs> go rowdier and rowdier. Or yeah, we'd go down by the opera house, you know, on the benches oh, yeah, or yeah. something like uh -huh. that and just set up shop. When I came back, I started really like getting serious about music and um, recording and writing. I was an English major at UCLA, so I do a lot of writing. And um, I think in 2003, I took a trip to Maui and started recording stuff. And um, I came back with something I played it for Reiko and got signed. And then we ended up putting out West of Lincoln.
blood is calm, but everyone is still filled with fear. So I keep on asking myself whether it's time to step away from the cliff. Yeah, I keep on asking myself whether it's time to stop. Like it, dig it. Yeah. yeah. Now, if that sounds familiar to people, it's because uh, it was featured in the television show Weeds. Weeds. Yes. And, and Grey's Anatomy. And Grey's Anatomy. Wow. Congratulations. That's Thank huge. you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very fortunate. I had some great people to work with um, that helped me, you know, really take the music from my horrible demos to like sounding pretty good on the record. All right, Gunther. Time to wake up, buddy. Check out. All right, time to get up. Gunther, let's go, check out. It's 8 a.m., time to hit the beach. Olaf, finish up in there. We gotta get the office set back up, okay? Come on out. Gotta get you guys out of here. All right, good, so remember, have a good day at the beach. Lots of sunscreen, because you guys have that fair European skin. You'll burn you right up, okay? Great, thanks a lot. Remember, uh, back no earlier than 10 o'clock, all right? Yeah. All right, good. Have fun. That's my laptop. Thank Great. you. See you later. All right, have fun. Oh Dankeschön. Sorry about that. I thought I thought that was his. Okay, this is working out great. This, We're going to make a killing on this. This is insanity. No, what are you talking about? This is working out great. We're making a killing. Hey, look, you're into yoga, right? Yeah. Can you go up and teach the class? It starts in 10 minutes. I'm not teaching a class. Well, what am I, I going to tell the students? I can't like this. All right, let me go tell them they're not going to have a teacher then. Can't work like this. Hey, hey, good morning. What is on my keyboard? Oh, it's disgusting. Boise! Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Wow.